Okay, I'm going to be out today, so I wanted to talk about um, how to do, one, once again, how to do a hydrate problem when you have an unknown hydrate. And so this is from the worksheet that we did yesterday, um, and this is question number 10 from the worksheet. We did 1 through 9 in class. If you were not in class yesterday, you need to watch the video that I posted yesterday and then do 1 through 9 first. If you were in class yesterday, um, we're going to continue on from today, and you're going to start at number 10. So... So a couple things that we need to take a look at here. We are going to look at this question. And so we have a hydrate. Uh, we have Na2CO3 with some waters. And we're trying to find out what X is. This is really the whole goal of this problem is to find this out. But we're going to have to do a few steps to get there. And we have a mass of it before heating. Now we're never going to use this mass directly in our calculations. We're going to use it to find some other information. So let's keep an eye on that. So these two are connected together. And then it says, after heating the mass of the anhydrous, which just means anhydrate, is 3.22. So this, once again, is our anhydrate. We do need that value. So it asks right here in the first part, what is the mass of the anhydrate? Okay, well, that's just 3.22 grams. Okay, that was easy. So now it says, what is the mass of the water? So what happens is when we heat... When we heat this hydrate, it's going to give the water off up into the atmosphere. It's going to evaporate. And then we're going to be left with a mass afterwards. So to get the mass of the water, we're going to subtract the mass of the hydrate from the mass of the anhydrate. And that's going to give us the mass of the water. Okay, so in this case, it's 1.09 grams of H2O. Okay, and that's an important value. Now, what we're going to do next, it's going to ask us to calculate the moles of water. Now, we need to use our mole road here. So the moles of water, we have, we have grams right here. So I'm going to rewrite grams, 1.09 grams of H2O. And I'm going to convert it to moles of H2O. Okay. And so if we look at the mole road and we're starting at grams, starting at grams, and we're ending at moles, um, it's going to be one mole over the atomic mass or molar mass of H2O, which is going to be two hydrogens, which is 2.02, .02, plus one oxygen, so it's 18.02. So I'm going to multiply across the top 1.09 and divide it by 18.02, and that gives me an answer. It's actually a pretty small answer. It's going to be 0 0.060, and we'll round it off to 5 moles of H2O. Now that's an important piece of our, of our um, calculation. We're going to need that in, in a minute. The next thing it's going to do in Part D is Part D is going to ask us to calculate the moles of anhydrate, moles of anhydrate. So if I'm going to go back up here, and there is my anhydrate up at the top. So I'm going to start with my grams of anhydrate, 3.22 grams. And my anhydrate is Na2CO3, sodium carbonate and I'm going to convert it to moles. So once again, it's one mole over the atomic mass of Na2CO3. And so I have, to, I have to add together two sodiums plus one carbon plus three oxygen, and I get 105.99. Okay, I'm going to divide those two, 3.22 divided by 105.99, and I get a small answer again, 0 0.0304 moles of anhydrate, which is, um, again, Na2CO3. So both of these I want to convert to moles. I want water in moles, and I want my anhydrate in moles. What I do not want to convert is my 4.31 grams at the top of my hydrate. I'm not worried about that. Okay, so let's go on to E. So now it says calculate the ratio of the moles of water to the moles of anhydrate using this formula. Okay, so it's just moles of water on top and moles of anhydrate on the bottom, which I just calculated. So the moles of water is right up here. There's my moles of water. And I'm always going to put that on top. It's always going to be the largest of the two numbers, 605. And I'm going to divide it by my moles of anhydrate, which is right here, 0 0.0304. Now, I, I, I do my calculation, and what it's going to come out to be is right about 1.99. Now that is close enough that let's call it a whole number. Let's just call that two. So that's that's what I want, two. 
Okay, now the last part, what we're going to do is this 2 that we just calculated plugs back into the original formula. So Na2CO3 dot x, we just found x. It's 2, 2 H2O. Now, the, it, not all hydrates will have a 2. Some might have a 1 or a 7 or a 6 or a 5 or a 10. Who knows? They could be anything. Okay, and so that's my final answer for F. Okay, so I'm going to kind of scroll back up here and talk about this once again. There's two values that we really need. We need the value, we need the grams of our anhydrate, and we need the grams of our water, which we subtract. And if we know those two values, we can always convert them to moles, divide the grams or the moles of water by the moles of anhydrate, and then we can find the ratio and find the unknown x. Okay, so that's work problem number 10. If you have any questions, you can you can uh, message me and I'll get back to you. Um, you're going to finish all the rest of the worksheet now.